The Larry Ballers have three dog, 11 and one, 2.69 ERA. One of the toughest pitchers in the league. He always gets run support against the Equators, who have Antonio March, who's 10 and two, a 4.02 ERA. Two of their hitters are ready to go. Three of ours are ready to go. Lethal teetering 496, trying to set the record. Game 68 of 82. This is a big one. Uh, looks like Boxicus. Let's bring Travis back in here. For anything that starts with a vowel, can we use a city that has a different vowel? Uh, I don't know. Actually, let's leave Z in. Reaver is still juiced. Azur, he's locked in, so we'll leave him. And three dog is pretty natural. All right, we're playing at a higher difficulty. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I need to screenshot this. Remind me when we do finish the game, no matter what happens, that we uh, screenshot the teams so that we can come up with names for them. Larry Ballers visiting the Equators. I don't know what the Equators, there's gotta be E-teams out there. We have E-teams in Kentucky. We have like Elizabethtown and Erie. The Essex Equator. <laughs> How about, we, maybe we need to figure out some, uh, that could be a Mexican team. All right, why so slow? 287 leaning off here. Here's Antonio March. That's, ooh, strike one called there. Fouled off 0 and 2 already. 1 and 2. Got him on a called strike 3. March come to play. Here's Captain Pete. He's batting 326. That one's hit well. It's heading out there. Does Pete give it enough? It's getting close. I think it's going to be off the big wall. It is. Pete goes into second. He'll stop there though. That is a double with one out. That brings up the big red machine, SKS. Runner in scoring position. And that's gonna be hit. Oh, it's off the glove. It's off the glove. Pete rounds third. He's coming home. SKS is gonna get a run here at the very first of the inning. And that is nicely done. That's smart base running an error there by the shortstop. And that brings up lethal feline. That's right down the middle, and that's going to be a base hit for Lethal. Uh-oh, I shouldn't have sent the runner. SKS slides into third, and Lethal moves the runners to the corner with one out. Larry Ballers come to play today. Here's Reaver Axis. He'll take ball one. Hit down the line. That's foul. That's ground ball. Lethal slides. Oh, SKS scores on it as they don't even pay attention to him. They tried to get lethal. So two outs, but it was an RBI. A sacrifice there by Reaver. And that brings up Aaron Boxicus. That's ball one. Antonio March, he's a little tense already. That one's hit well. Center fielder on the run. Can he get to it? No, it lands, and that's going to score lethal. Boxicus heads to second, and the ballers go up three to nothing here in the first. Now batting, number 50, the right fielder. March having some problems here. Here's Z Striker. That's hit right to the first baseman, though. Hornblower will step on the bag, and that retires the side. Four hits, three runs for the ballers. Wow. Equators not helping their playoff chances at the moment. We'll see if they can fix that. Buchanan, Frown, bang it, do up. Max Buchanan, he's locked in. Ground ball, Reaver, scoop, throw, one away. Remember if some of you just joined, I have a poll on Twitter on the next hat that I'm going to buy to wear during the stream. We're going for a different color besides red. Ground ball. Oh, God. Throw and Reaver. 
Another nice throw, and that's two away. And that brings up Julia Bangit. She bangs it right to SKS. He'll throw to first, and that's a 1-2-3 inning for Three Dogs. He struts off the field like the man he is. Azure Alliance, Three Dog, and Why So Slow do up. Now batting. Uh, just go to Twitter, search for at SKS Plays. That's my name, and you can vote on it there. That's ball one. Ooh, fouled off, 1-1. One one. Why did I swing at that? I don't think Azur can outrun that. And he's thrown out by a half step. Now I can't link it right now as I'm playing. And Three Dog, your pitcher, he's due up. He's batting 184, which is a nice average for the pitcher. Hits it right to the first baseman, though, and that will retire him quickly. We go to the top of the order. It's Why So Slow, who's 0 for 1 today. He struck out at his first at bat. He'll take ball one. Ooh, way out there. Nice pitch fast, but not in target. That's hit straight to third baseman. Max Buchanan gloves it, and that will end the inning. So the Equators blowing back there. No hits, no runs. Baller still lead by three. Hornblower Simpson and Phil do up. Now batting number 27, the first base. Thank you, seven. Strike one on the fastball. Bad pitch there. Fouled away. Swing and a miss on the strikeout. There's two Ks today for three dog. Lily Simpson. That is an awful card she had there. But to each their own. She'll take ball one. to foul that one off. Barely tips the slider. Stays in, one and two. He hits that one straight to SKS. He'll throw over to Lethal. And that is two away in the bottom of the second. Now back, number 15, the second baseman. Called strike, pop corner. Scott Field trying to get something going for the Equators. Swing and a miss there. That's not how you do it. And there's called strike three in the third strikeout. Three dog will take a seat. Ballers do up. Captain Pete, SKS, Lethal D. The deadly trio. As we go to the top of the third. Now batting number 15, the center fielder. Captain Pete, he's one for one today with a double. Take a high ball, 1-0, 2-0, ooh, way inside, 3-0 to Captain Pete, and that one gets in there for strike one, and that will be a walk, Captain Pete draws another one there, that's going to bring up SKS, he's on fire. Ground ball to third. Pete taking off the second. Throw to second to tie, and SKS will beat out the throw. So one out as they get the lead runner, and that brings up Lethal Feline. One for one. Ground ball to second, or the shortstop. There's one. Lethal outruns it. So two hits in a row, but they get the lead runner on both. So Larry Ballers aren't helping themselves right now. That one's hit well, but I think it's going to be catchable. Left fielder kicks it, catches it, and we end the top of the third. We head to the bottom. Waiters trying to get something going. Oh, constant. Is it constant rug? Uh, I'm not a Celtics fan either. Uh, I just put the Larry Ballers. Just Yeah, it's a Larry Bird joke, but I'm not a Celtics fan. It was just something that comes from a game I played a long time ago. I could tell you a lie, but chat will correct me. But appreciate you being here. Thank you. Ooh, anticipated the high fastball. 
Lynn Undermeyer trying to get something done for the equ Equators here. They're trying to get a playoff spot. That ball was hit. That should be foul, but they're going to count it, and Lethal will step on the bag one away. Now batting, number eight, the center field. Here's Sarah Prowls. He'll swing at that. They're anticipating a lot more pitches at 77, Ego. Swing and a miss there. And called strike three. That's the fourth K for three dog tonight. And here's the pitcher, Antonio March. <laughs> hey, Sixers, you think they got a chance of getting LeBron? Or do you think that's just a fable? Oh, that one's hit well. Captain Pete on the run. Z on the run. Is either one of them going to get there? Oh, that was a terrible. Oh, my God, guys. That is going to be a triple as the ball comes in. Z with the. <laughs> think he's going to LA? I thought about that. I thought New York might have a chance. I don't even follow NBA basketball that much, but I, I figure with that, he'll go to one of the big cities. Ooh, ball two there. Equator's trying to score a run here. Man on third. Two and two's the count. Hmm. Oh, cold strike three, and they strand the score on third. Three dog handling it with efficiency. Check out the building they're building back there. There's a whole bunch of Bob the Builders on it. Aaron Boxicus, Z Striker, and Azure Alliance do up this inning. Now batting, number 23, the third baseman. Here's Aaron Boxicus. He'll take strike one. He's one for one. He's got a double already today. And there's going to be a base hit up the middle. He'll be two for two, and Boxicus is delivering again. Remember, he had that injury earlier in the season after a lot of home runs. And he hasn't been the same, but he's seeming to work back into motion now. Here's Z striker. Z hits that one deep. It's got a chance to be caught by the center fielder, and that is exactly what will happen. <laughs> Constant, that's that's what we're kind of building up to. Here's a Zero Alliance. This year alone we've went up, I think, 17, 18. That's a bad hit. That's one. And that will be a side ending double play. Yeah, that that was the thing, is we probably could have moved up before, but the AI seems like to bend the rules. Foul balls being fair balls, stuff like that. Ooh, swing and a miss there. That one's hit down the line, and it's going to luckily go foul. Let's see if we can beat him high. Oh, we didn't go for it. That one hit well. SKS cannot get to it, and that's going to be a base hit there. The lead off the bottom of the fourth. The Equators put a runner on first, and that brings up Julia Bang it. She hit it straight to second base, her first at bat. That's a bad pitch. He hits that foul. Popped up. No chance of a play. Runner. Oh, no. What a bull crap. Oh, the runner was stealing and Reaver went to cover the base and they hit it exactly where he was at. Oh, my God. An unfortunate event. And now the Equators have two runs on the potential tying run at home plate. No way we're going to make a play. We have to go to first. One away. Runners move to second and third. That brings up Lily Simpson. We're going to miss there. Popped up. Oh, God. Oh, Lethal makes the catch. Nicely done. That brings up Scott Field. Bad pitch. And Boxicus with the snag on the line drive. And the Larry Ballers get out of trouble. My Lord.
Redog, the pitcher, leading off this inning for the Larry Ballers. Antonio March, besides giving up the three runs, had a decent day thus far. And that's going to be snagged by Jay Frown. Can he make the throw? Yes. One away. Now batting number 47. Lethal, your player just shows off sometimes. I just want you to know that. Ooh, strike one to why so slow. That one hit well, but he was underneath it, and that looks like a fly out the center. Two away. Captain Pete, he's got a double, he's got a walk. At least he didn't get hit this game. 1-0. Oh. Take strike one. Ground ball, shortstop, frown with the throw. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 3-0. Constant Rug, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Lynn Undermeyer, Sarah Prowse, and Antonio, Antonio March do up this inning. Now batting number three. Lynn Undermeyer, she's got like some lethal sleeves going on over there. Nice touch. Swing and a miss on that one. Another swing and a miss. Let's see if we can get her going way out here. Nope. Outside. He'll foul that one off. Bad pitch. Swing and a miss, though. The sixth strikeout of the day for Three Dog. Ooh, big strike there. Oh, another one. Let's see if we can burn her here. Oh, she popped that up. No play for Azur on that one, though. Swing and a miss, another strikeout, three dog, setting them down this inning. Now batting. That brings up the pitcher, Antonio Marsh. Can he keep it going? And that is a base hit for the pitcher down the line. He'll go to first. He thought about second, but he'll retreat back. And that is a two out single for the pitcher. Now batting, number nine, the third baseman. Called strike. Bad pitch. He went underneath that one. Why so slow? Calling for it. Runs up. Makes the catch. And that will end the inning. We go to the sixth. Three. Zero. SKS. Lethal. River Axis. Do up this inning. Now batting number 20. The big red machine. He's only one for two tonight. Does have an RBI off the air earlier. He'll look at strike one. There's ball one. Two and one, SKS. Three and one. And that is a walk. SKS will take first base. And that brings up Lethal D Feline, the hitting machine. She's one for two tonight. Her average is hanging around 500. She's trying to get there. That's inside ball one. Oh, that one's hit. Is it going to drop? Shortstop coming over. We'll make the catch. No bueno. No bueno on that. Now batting number 54. The dream. The dream is falling. Going to get tough. Here's Reaver Axis. He'll take a pitch outside. 2-0 to Reaver. Terrible swing. That one's hit well. That's headed toward the statue. Is it going to make it over the big wall? It does. A two-run shot for Reaver. And that makes it 5 to nothing. The Larry Ballers leading. His third of the year. 23rd RBI of the year as well. Now batting, no and Reaver's not even here to yell at me for that. Aaron Boxicus steps in. He's two for two tonight. He'll take ball one. That knocked Antonio March back down to neutral. There's a strike, one and one. We're in the top of the six. The game was close. And that, if it lands fair, is gonna be dangerous. It just goes foul and moves the count to one and two. And that one's an awkward hit off the hands. And oh, and it's gonna get by. That's gonna be a base hit there for Boxicus. That brings up old man Z. The 
That one's hit well, but straight to the right fielder. Boxkis will retreat back to first. No chance of moving up. That brings up Azure Alliance. We were bragging about him before the game, but he is just not delivered today. That one's hit well. It's headed toward the left field wall. Left fielder going back, and she'll make the catch at the warning track. Four more hits. Two more runs. It's 5 nothing. Meat of the lineup coming up for the Equators. They need a win bad to stay in the playoff chase. They're not going the right direction at the moment. Here's Jay Frown. He's on fire. He's one for two. He'll look at strike one. Swing and a miss there. Ball hit. Reaver under it. Throw to first. One away. Brings up Julia Bangit. She's one for two today. Had a nice hit earlier. She smokes that, but Lethal is there. He'll step on the bag. That's two outs. I like their Miami Hurricanes color set. That's really nice. Here's Tim Hornblower. He swings. That's over Reaver. That's going to be a base hit. It's in the gap. That's trouble. Bounces off the wall. Captain Pete plays it. Throws in. Cut off man will not get to it. It comes in the second. Nice throw there from the track. That brings up Lily Simpson. She's got a chance to bring in a run. Two outs, bottom of the sixth. There's ball one. She goes after that one. Oh, it's a fair ball. That's probably going to score one. It rolls to the drastic corner. Here comes the throw in from Why So Slow. That is a double, and that will bring in the first run of the game for the Equators. They show some signs of life, and that brings up Scott Field. Second base. Gottfield looking for a point of attack. He'll take strike one. One of that, that's going to be another base hit. Pete comes with the throw. The runner is going to come home. Good chance to score, and that is two to five now. The equator scoring at will. Lynn Undermeyer up. Two outs, and they've scored two runs. Three dog having an issue here. There's a ball hit. Oh, and it gets past Reaver. He didn't reach down for it far enough. Runners pushing, going to third. Captain Pete's throw coming in. Not in time. Runners in the corner. Equators really pushing here. The Larry Ballers are in trouble. Sarah Prowse. Three dog really just, he's done. They're taking him out. They're going to bring in Joe Elwood to try to seize this. Out off. Three dog just lost all of his gas at once. That one's barely hit. SKS will catch it, and they stop the bleeding. The tourniquet has been applied. We're back to the difference it was before the six. Five, two, three run game. The Equators have all the mojo going into it. Now batting. Does the third base ref have a blonde fro? I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Oh, he does. I can see it there. We're going to let Joe hit because we need to get an inning out of him or so. That was down the middle. He should have got a hit. The El Paso Equators. Two and two to Joe. Copper. George stop on it. And that will be one away. Here's why so slow. He's 0 for 3 today. Terrible day for him. We'll take ball one. Knees by the pitcher. I think March is trying to put some extra spin on it. That's hit straight to Scott Field at second. Two away. That brings up Captain Pete. The prodigal son. He wiggles in there. He'll take ball one. That one's hit well. It's headed toward the center field wall. Give him a run. Pete extends the lead to four. He'll touch them all as he comes around. 450 feet off the brick wall back there. His 22nd of the year. Thank you, Mother Love. I get kind of excited when I watch baseball. Can't beat Pete. I'm disappointed. Pete does hold the record for the longest home run, though. And SKS pops that one up, and that should retire the side. Five hundred sixteen feet. That is the current record. 
Let's see, Antonio March do up and the top of the lineup. I, do, I can't help it. That's just the way I am. I get this way when I watch history movies as well. And they're taking out Antonio March and Alejandro Jax will pinch hit. There's ground ball. Reaver under it. Throw to first. He'll get him. One away. Yes, you did, Pete. You you crushed it. I forgot about which game it was. I think it was game 50 or 51. That one's hit. Reaver again. Give him two throwouts. Jay Frown, he's one for three. Big swing and a miss there. Fouled off. Terrible pitch. Crush but foul. The guns in Hitler channel. Oh, come on, game. Give me a call. There we go. Good job, Joe. And they're going to bring in Libby Rico to pitch. Lethal Feline, Reaver Axis, and Aaron Boxicus do up. Now batting, number 80. Lethal was teetering with 500. One for three this game, though. That one's hit well. Oh, there's no way that Jay Frown made that catch. It was a foot in front of the glove, and it teleported. Lethal robbed of a hit. Top of the eighth, one out. Four-run game. Reaver locked in and juiced. That one's going to be a base hit. I'm glad it didn't teleport there. And that's a single for Reaver. Aaron Boxigas, he's three for three today. I'll take ball one. Hits that one, but a little behind it. Foul ball, one and one's count. That one's hit well toward the gap, but it's got a little too much air under it. And that'll be the second out here in the top of the eighth. Ballers are looking to extend their lead. Here's Z. He's 0 for 3 today. Just not had a nice pitch to look at. Uno. That one's hit well, but right. The right fielder. Quaters come up to bat, the bottom of the eighth. Julia Bangett, Hornblower, and Simpson do up. They're down four. Joe Eldwood's still in there. Heyman's ready to go on standby just in case here in the eighth. That one was anticipated. This is a trouble. I don't think they're going to get to it. Oh, and it's right next to him. He doesn't make it. And that's going to be a double to lead off the eighth. The Equator's already pushing with a runner in score position. Tim Hornblower, do up. Not do up. He is up. Excuse me. Popped up. Azura Alliance making the play for it. He's such a manly catcher. He doesn't throw his mask off. His eyes can see through it. Lily Simpson. Are you serious, game? That's going to be a two-out RBI. Oh, and the Equators get another one. It's 6-3. A runner at second. That's it, Lee, though. We're taking your gold glove away. That one's hit well. We very well could have a one-run game, and we do. The Larry Ballers have been shocked as the Equators have come back to life here at the end of the game. Joe Elwood gives up the two-run shot, and it is now 6-5. to five. Uh, Mac, TT Mac, no, it's uh, we're playing a league mode right now. And that's, we're going to jerk Joe out, and we're going to bring in Wembley. Let's see what she can do. Oh, Boxicus can bare hands it. Throws. There's two outs. Sarah Prowse. She's 0 for 3 today. She anticipated that. Hit well, but why so slow is out there. And that stops it. It's a one-run game as we go into the ninth. Azure Alliance, Wembley, and why so slow do up. Now batting, number 26, the 
Okay. Azure Alliance is 0 for 3 today. Need something here. Oh, off the glove! Azure Alliance probably would have had a base hit, and he is out. All right, Wembley, you're not going to bat. Let's put in zeros to pitch hit. Strike one called there, 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Game starting to get tight here. Copper right to the second baseman. Zeros doesn't beat it out. Two outs. Top of the ninth. Why so slow? He's 0 for 4. Let's bring in somebody else. Let's bring in Travis the Unknown. Travis is usually good at getting hits when we need him. He'll watch strike one. That's not a hit when we need it. Oh, way inside. I thought he was getting hit there. That would have been a hit. Chopper right back to the pitcher. Rico handles it. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Kamen coming out, trying to get the save. Kern of the lineup, due up. Now batting, number Ken Jackman coming in the pitch. How's that one off? Crushed base hit. Max Buchanan. Number nine, the third baseman. Crushed again. And that's going to be another hit two on. Equators. Chance to win. Jay Frown. Popped up foul. There's no way! And Pete makes the catch! What a save there! One out. Julia Bangett steps in. And he gets past SKS. They're going to tie the game up. And they're pushing the runner to third. Oh my god, a tie game. Kamen blows the save. Tim Hornblower steps up. Winning run on third. And that's going to be the game right there. The Equators come back and win it in the bottom of the ninth. Which helps their playoff chances tremendously. Heyman taking the loss, giving up two earned runs there. His second loss of the season. Rico taking, getting the win. He moves to 4-2 and two on the year. Pete was your player of the game, followed by Reaver, and then Scott Field. We blew one. So that helps the Equator stay within the Grim Cats within three games. Ah, maybe 77 is too big. That winning streak was short, at least expected. We lost two games last stream. The wide loads are now tied with the Crocodons. They take the lead in the division due to the run difference. I think my temperature went up like 10 degrees because of that game. I got so embarrassed that we give up the, lot, the win there. Hey, they knew they needed it. We're comfortably in the lead of our division. Thank you, Try Hard. Thank you, Rain Barrow. Swoops, can the Swoops get one against the Platypi? They do. Poor Swoops, they fell from grace, but they're still almost 500 again.
Crocatoos and Crocs. Crocs need that one, and they lost. Mmm. That gives the wide loads a one win. God, the Streamliners. They're like our anti-team over there. Sirloins needing a win here. They don't get it. The Royal Beast. Worst team in the league. And the Nemesis get a win over the Spectres. All right, let's do our screenshot. Thank you all for reminding me. So the Streamliners comfortably in the lead. Wide loads, Crocodons, one game. Sirloins and Wardens. And now the Platypi. Southern Division on the American League side is wide open. Nash.